Hey everyone, it is me, TNTN, and I'm actually here not with a Let's Play, but with a tutorial. I'm going to be making a water, uh, water elevator, water bubble elevator, up to my little jungle house. And it's not really a tutorial, it's more me mostly just kind of messing around. Um, but if you guys follow my steps, you'll more than likely probably make your own uh, water elevator, unless I totally fail. So, uh, with that, let's just get right into the video. So, uh, the first thing that I want to do is I want to start smelting my glass, so by the time that we need it, it will already be done. Uh, so I have 64 pieces of sand right now, um, so we're just going to throw that in. Okay, first we're going to make a furnace. And we're just going to throw all of our sand in uh, with a few pieces of coal. Okay, actually that's quite a bit of coal. But pro we'll probably not use all of it though. <clears throat> so, what we're going to do is we're going to head down here. And I've already marked it out. It's dark down here. Um, here's my parrot. I mark it by my parrot actually, kind of. I mark it by my parrot and that dirt block. So we want to make it to that dirt block right there. Uh, so I guess to start out with, let's just kind of break this. Um, let's put soul sand there. And then we'll probably want like a piston right here. Let me get my pick out, uh, picks, pickaxe out. Uh, let's destroy that and place it more like. Oh, come on. Okay, okay, okay. Let's place it more like that. So, soul sand's here. And let's pretend that this is here. This tree is gonna have to come down, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, I will. <laughs> but. It would be like this, so that's where it needs to be. And then if we just power this right here. Um, I can't put these on lease. Um, so if we just power it, that should push it there. And then it will probably retract, I don't really know. This thing's gonna be out in the open and I might close it off actually. Uh, and then we're going to need a piston like that. Yep. And then if we power that one, um, this is going to come down anyway. Um, like that, then that goes there. Perfect. And then we'll have our water stream like that running all the way up. Uh, so I guess what we will want to happen just gonna start taking this tree down myself. It'll start deteriorating because I've already taken out some logs. <sighs> Sad to see it go. That's alright. Uh, so then we put that there. Um, uh, and then we'll want a circuit. Okay. Okay, okay. So then we want this to be powered when we press a button. So if we're walking up to it like here, and then we're here, we'll probably press the button like right here-ish. Oh, no, you know what? We'll walk over a pressure plate. I think I already have one of those. Yes, we do. So once we pr go here, and then that will hard power this block so we can take an output from it. Uh, yeah, this cannot go on lease. These leases are a little bit annoying, but it's all right. So, what we should see happen is we should see that. Wait, oh, there's my pressure plate. Yeah, okay. So that is taking it out, and then we'll probably have to run. it through this way over here and let's replace these and this 
with cobblestone and this and this so if I do no we don't want that we don't want that yeah um okay wait I actually want to test something we go here here yeah never mind okay Yeesh. so this is actually gonna be a little bit more difficult than I thought it'd be so it'll come over here up here and then we'll have to put it right here and here um, I feel like I'm making this way too complicated probably am all you redstone nerds I'm a, I will allow you to tell me how to do it right if you like smaller because I'm going all the way over here so that way we can go here and then we can take out that and put that there take that out Oop. put that there take that out okay and now that should be pushed yes it is and then we'll go over here and one that is pressed okay so it's gonna be right back <laughs> okay so uh, kind of all I did was um, I ran it out of this block into here into these two um, comparators one facing this way one facing that way two redstone here a block here with the redstone torch over uh, on the other side of it and then I ran the redstone up to this piston so what will happen now is basically oops, um, when we step on it, it this piston will retract and then um, these two um, are basically keep it longer I don't know how to explain it really and basically it will stay like that longer and then I'll come back so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sleep really fast Ooh, pretty view of the sunset and then um, what I'm going to do is I'm now just going to hook it up this way. I can go. Um, let's see if this will work. Um, let's take it from here just to be extra safe. Um, and then we'll break this and this and this because why not? Oops. Save that for Oop, Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, da da, and then, uh, yeah, okay, and then I think we have to bring it out one more so that we can go here and here. I I I hope that still reaches. We'll see right now. Let's test it out. Um, I will make a better way to come here. Let's see. What just happened? Okay. Okay. That's really weird. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. So I figured it out. All you have to do um, is take out this little bit of redstone right here, right here, just somewhere in here, uh, and just replace it on a repeater and put that to four ticks. And now what should happen is if you step on this pressure plate, this will change uh, to soul sand. And when you take off of it, it will wait a few seconds, and then it will change back. Um, that should probably work. So now what we have to do is replace this right here. Um, well, actually, let's take out our cobblestone. Let's put it right here and right here and right here and like that and that and that and that and that and that. And then, oop, I don't want to be standing on that when it changes. Can I? Okay. 
and then let's take out our glass. Um, when I made the repeater, I had to go back up there and our glass was finished, so I just took it. And now let's just um, make ourselves a little way up. Oops, I uh, hate wasting glass. Okay, so, one second, let me think. If I step on it, okay, so, then we'll also have a gate here so water doesn't flow out. So we'll step on it, so then only, okay. Sorry about that. Um, just a little thinking to myself. Uh, yeah, so just all you have to do is take up this glass and put it actually like that. And just keep on doing this until you get to where you want to be. Uh, so I finished with the glass and I'm just trying to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, but if you didn't want the, like, uh, all the redstone like coming out and then coming over this way, uh, all you can do is just put a repeater over here and take out all of this right here. Uh, which makes it just a little bit more compact. Just like one more block, which is, which can be really nice, yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to finish up with making this really nice. Okay, so now it looks kind of like this. This is just how I designed it. You can make it however you really want. Um, I just cover up, you know, all the redstone and whatnot and things like that. But um, now it's getting dark, so first of all, I'm going to uh, sleep. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a water bucket, or quite a few water buckets, and then I'm going to fill them up in the lake, put them into here, and then I'm going to just come back and repeat and repeat and repeat until we have enough uh, water to fill uh, everything up to the top. So you can just uh, do that too if you want right now. And also, I just, like, does this create a bubble? So it does. Like, oops. Cool. Yeah, anyway, uh, so yeah. And we are finally done. And I think that it looks pretty cool, actually. And I mean, yeah, it looks actually really cool. Uh, so check it out. So obviously all redstone is covered up by all this cobblestone. It is pretty big, but you can cover it up. And if you do it correctly, I think that it looks decent. Yeah, pretty nice. Uh, anyway, when you get in here, uh, if you go straight in, you have to crouch so you don't get hurt by that magma block. Uh, but as you just saw, you can also get shot right up really fast. It's really cool. Then if you want to go down, all you have to do is go inside of it. Make sure you crouch so that this thing does not hurt you. And then it'll go, oops, I actually can't get out right now. There we go. Um, yeah, so it's really cool. And then once again, I'll just show you guys one more time. Shot, shot all the way up, and that's it. It's really nice, really cool. And if you're going much higher than uh, what, how I'm going, it can be very fast and useful. Uh, so I think that just about rounds up our video. Uh, except for the fact that we are on my Let's Play um, uh, uh, world, and we've been on it for quite a while. I think I've been filming for like an hour or so with no breaks. And if you come right over here, as some of you might know from watching my Let's Play videos, I have a little farm, and I just want to do a quick tester to see if it's working at all. Uh, so if we come over here, Okay, melon is not growing, and I think I figured out why that is. Um, basically, it just has no water. I think it's kind of just, I, t I kind of totally forgot about water, and that things need water to live. Um, but luckily, I have quite a few buckets on me, so I can just put that there. And then all I have to do is take this and go. <gasps> Did I just hit my bird? Oh my gosh, okay, it's on my shoulder. I thought I just killed my bird. Oh my gosh, that would've been awful. Okay, anyway, uh, and then I just have to drag it around like that. Uh, so yeah, if you wanna make it more compact, you can also put a block right here like this, and then you can just run a um, repeater right here into this block on one tick. And that'll also work, I believe. Anyway, with that, um, Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial thing that I did today. Um, if you did, make sure to hit that, oh, oh there it goes. <laughs> uh, make sure to hit that like button. Um, and if you really liked it and you like my tutorials and you like my Let's Plays, uh, make sure to subscribe. Yeah, uh, it would really be awesome if you subscribed. 
So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys on my channel soon. Bye.